Hey everyone, it's just me. Um, today's vlog, I'm going to talk about just random things which I probably didn't mention or I did in my other vlog but I have more to say about it. Um, first things first, I lost two pounds. Now this is what I don't get, is that with my work um, I am constantly moving, walking upstairs, downstairs, whatever, um, and my weight just was not budging. Um, so yesterday I took my dogs for a walk. Now, when I mean walk, more like they were dragging me like lunatics. Um, it's quite good in a sense, like when you're really tired and you're just like, oh, I can't take another step. They're like huskies, they're just like yanking me and I have no choice for my legs to plod along and, you know, go with them. Anyway. So I took them out for a walk, and I'm talking about like 30 minutes, about, yeah, about 30 minutes, and I lost two pounds. Now, if it was that easy, I'd be doing 30 minutes every day, and I'd be like, skinny, you know, but I don't really understand it. Why does it come off suddenly with one thing, but not with the other? Um, I have been a little bit naughty. Um... I've been eating Maltesers. Um, why? Reason being, I don't know. Stress, whatever excuse you want. <laughs> I just saw them and I thought, hmm, can I digest the Malteser? And hell yeah, I can. I can, definitely. So I had some Maltesers. Um, didn't have any problem eating them. It was all good. Um, but I still don't understand the whole food thing. Like... I still can only eat junk food. Now, in some people's cases, they would say, yeah, that's great, because we can eat what we like and easily lose weight, you know, like some skinny old bitch. <laughs> Mind the B word, sorry. Um, you know, people have uh, fast metabolisms. God, I sounded like a retard when I said that. Metabolism, there we go. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm, I don't really understand why can I eat, for example, I had a pizza. My mum was really ill on Sunday, so I went out shopping to get dog food and some other stuff, Maltesers, uh, milk, <laughs> just random shopping. And um, I thought, I'm going to buy a pizza, because she's not well, she can't cook. So I went for a really small pizza. Anyway, I shared it with my mum anyway. Um, I had three slices, and I ate, I ate it all. No problem whatsoever. Um, I just had the soft bit and then afterwards I thought, mm, I don't know if I can eat the crust because I have problems eating in general. Um, had the crust, not a problem. Today my mum made um, coleslaw with some uh, turkey, but the turkey's put with egg and um, flour and breadcrumb. So anyway, two bites, I start getting this pain here again. So I don't understand why can I eat a pizza but I can't eat normal food. So anyway, I stopped eating, it had two bites and I thought, oh god, I'm getting that feeling again. Uh, so I left it and I continued to eat the coleslaw. You would think with coleslaw that would be the difficult bit to digest. Not a problem, I woofed it down. So I just don't understand why can I eat some things but not the other. I can't eat meat. So my protein at the moment is just cheese, um, like Baby Bell, just something. I haven't got a problem with it. Um, Jack of Potato, I did have a problem with it, and I added some cheese. I can't remember the name of the cheese, but it must have been very rich. Oh my God, I got dumping syndrome, <laughs> and it was awful. I actually had it um, before I went shopping. Which was not a good idea. So I was driving, thinking, God, please give me control. <laughs> I'm not going to go into detail, but hey, this is the first dumping syndrome I've had. It wasn't that bad. Everyone goes, ooh, dumping syndrome. Oh, it's awful. Never again. You only have it once. No. no it was okay. Just like a, a stomach ache, you know, loose stool. That's basically what it is. So anyway, um, but I noticed I could eat the whole jacket potato. I don't know if I need to put, um, not liquids, but just thin sauce, just so it can slip down. I really don't know what the hell is happening, but something's happening. So, 
Yeah, with the food, that's what's been happening. So I'm 20 stone 8, fantastic. Uh, even though I weighed myself this morning and last night is when I had Maltesers. So are the Maltesers going to bite me back in the arse tomorrow when I weigh myself? I don't know. I'm going to have to wait and see. If it hasn't, then I'm going to be so happy and I might buy another bag of Maltesers by the end of the week. I don't know. But um, I just think it's great that I could eat what I want to eat, but I haven't got the problem with the weight like I used to. You know, before, all I had to do was look at something and I gained five pounds, you know? Or I would diet, uh, lose six pounds. I had one cheeseburger and I put on the six pounds and I probably gained another two or something. I don't know, it was ridiculous. So even if I don't get down to a very small size, and I'm just quite glad that I can live a normal life. It's not normal as in junk food, but if I want something, I can have it and not have to worry that if I'm going to eat this, I'm going to put on a stone, you know, something ridiculous. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. Um, I don't know what else to really say. Work is work. I've got time off at the moment. I've got to go back in a couple of hours and start another shift. Um, the date went well. I can't really say too much, purely because that person might be watching. So I can't really go into detail, but it's not negative. It's all really good stuff. So nothing to worry about. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, doing well, losing weight, going on dates, looking for Mr. Right, you know, the usual stuff that you do. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. Oh, that's another thing. Um, I don't know if I actually mentioned it. Um, I've got really dry skin on my sides here. You can't even see, but on my on the side, uh, rib cage, that sort of thing. It's just really dry, and I, it. It's not eczema, but I've only had it probably six weeks, no, five, six weeks after the operation. I just noticed that dryness. Um, I spoke to my sister in Australia, um, and if you don't know this already, she had the gastric sleeve, not the bypass. Um, I think she had it, but once again, she didn't know what it is. She said, oh, it comes in, it goes. Mine hasn't gone. It's, it's there. It's not red. It doesn't hurt, it's not itchy. The only time I'll probably notice it is when I've had a bath and I'm like, ooh, that stings, you know, like some oh god. But in general, it just when I when I touch it, I just don't like it. It's all ooh, manky and all dry and you know, I've tried exfoliating it, like scraping it like crazy, it's still there. So um, something's happening or working itself out. So if anyone else is um, had this or has it um, have you seen your doctor if so what is it you know and so forth um, I don't know what else so really I've been watching other people's vlogs um, and it's quite nice to see it that I've got a lot of things in common with a lot of people you know um, but it's nice to see that what I have or what I'm going through or what I will be going through is all perfectly normal um, so that's that's good stuff. Um, I'll see how it goes with the food. If it still continues that I can't eat properly, then I will go back to the surgeon. You know, because um, I don't want to live the rest of my life eating pizza and Maltesers. You know, I would like healthy food. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I don't know what else to say. And this vlog is nine minutes. Ooh, sugar, nine minutes long. Sorry, I have to stop saying. But, um, but yeah, I'm just thinking what else can I talk about? <laughs> I'm always waffling, waffling, waffling. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna buy any new clothes yet. I just want to lose a little bit more weight and see how things go. Um, but so far. I'm happy with how I am. Um, I'm kind of glad that I'm not in a relationship right now because I think I would be somewhat insecure about my body. Um, I'm not really a confident person. Now a lot of people might think, oh, I am confident, 
it sounds weird, I am but I'm not. I can talk, I can laugh, I can do this, I can do that. Um, but I don't really do well when people compliment me, like, oh, you're looking good. I, I just don't do well. I don't believe it. Anyway, I'm not going to go into this because people are just going to think I'm odd. But, um, you know, people say, oh, you're pretty, you're this, you're that, and I don't see it and I don't believe it. And I kind of get a bit awkward or insecure when people say nice things to me. I don't know. Maybe it's this typical fat person, low self, or, you know, well, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but anyway, so, um, I'm, I'm happy that I'm losing weight, but I don't feel confident enough to be in a relationship and bear all in my glory, <laughs> because we can all have a pretty face, or we can all look good, have nice hair, and have nice makeup, and then when you take your clothes off, you're like, um, like where I've got the entry wounds from the gastric bypass, I've got eight. Then I've got my gallbladder, which was, um, I say gold, I say gold. I don't know if anyone ever noticed that. When I say gallbladder, I say gold. Gallbladder. Um, <laughs> I had to correct myself there. Yeah, I have uh, four. So that is like all these dots all over me and it just looks ridiculous. And before I know it, when I lose the weight, I'm going to have flat saggy boobs and flat hanging pouch apron whatever you want to call it and I'm dreading it but at the same time I know I'll be healthy but do I really want to I don't know show myself off to my future partner to be I don't know but I guess if someone likes you for who you are then they don't mind your uh, your wobbly bits I think there was a, a quote from Bridget Jones wasn't there I like you just the way you are. Oh, Mr. Darcy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. It's 12 minutes, three minutes, uh, three seconds, and I'm going to go now. Anyway, leave a comment because I love to read your comments and I love to watch your videos. So you keep posting yours and I'll keep posting mine. Um, but yeah, anyway, take care and speak to you all very, very, very soon. Bye.